I'm Keith Olbermann, and this is The Resistance. Trump's travel ban is a Muslim ban, and his immigration enforcement order is a purge of Hispanics, and I am tired of hearing the radical right bullshit that they are anything else. And I do not believe a word about them coming out of this racist's mouth, whether it's CPAC or this insane address to Congress. And most importantly, they are useless. They add nothing to the safety of this country. They are sadistic. They are turning ordinary, unthinking Americans into a mindless Gestapo. Donald Trump's Gestapo. When you detain an American born in Philadelphia and ask him over and over again, where did you get your name from, and are you Muslim, and the man's name is Muhammad Ali Jr. It's a Muslim ban. When ICE agents reportedly wait across the street from a Virginia church refuge designed to save the homeless from freezing to death on our streets, and you grab six men as they leave the place, it is a purge of Hispanics. When an apparent white supremacist reportedly asks two engineers from India in a bar in Kansas City about their visas, then allegedly shoots them while shouting, get out of my country. And Sean Spicer says that the thought of it having anything to do with Trump is, quote, absurd. It's a Muslim ban. When you end a program designed to prevent the deportation of spouses and parents and children of active U.S. military personnel, it is a purge of Hispanics. When you tell the Oregon family of a four-month-old girl that no, no matter who approved what when, she is initially denied entry to Portland for life-saving surgery because she's from Iran, it's a Muslim ban. When you go into a Texas courtroom and you grab a victim of domestic abuse who was there getting a restraining order, and the tip may have come from the alleged domestic abuser, it is a purge of Hispanics. When you detain a 70-year-old woman and interrogate her at LAX for two hours because somebody somewhere thinks there's something wrong with her American-issued visa when there isn't, and she turns out to be the author of children's books with titles like Possum Magic and With Love at Christmas, and her name is Marion Mem Fox, and this is her 117th trip to this country, and she says it's the first time she has ever been questioned, let alone interrogated. It's a Muslim ban. When you allegedly detain a Mexican man at the border, and even though he is in apparent emotional distress, you deport him again anyway, and he goes to a bridge a few hundred feet into Mexico, and he throws himself to his death. It is a purge of Hispanics. When you ignore the report from the Department of Homeland Security that the ban on travel from the seven countries will likely do nothing to enhance American security, it's a Muslim ban. When you seize a man being released on bail and detain him for nearly three days and you tell him he is an illegal immigrant and you are going to deport him and you don't care that his birth certificate and state ID say he is from Puerto Rico, which is part of the goddamned United States of America. It is a purge of Hispanics. When you detain a historian, a visiting scholar at Texas A&M and formerly at Harvard and Dartmouth for 10 hours because he was born in Cairo, Egypt 62 years ago and he was coming here to speak about the French Vichy government that collaborated with the Germans in World War II and how all those lessons have been forgotten, it is a Muslim ban that now tracks directly back to the Nazis. And when you propose loosening employment requirements for hiring new border agents, congressionally mandated requirements, loosening background checks, loosening the use of polygraph tests, loosening entrance examinations, and when you tell passengers on board a domestic flight from San Francisco to New York that they need to produce, quote, their papers or they will not be allowed to get off the plane because you're looking for somebody who has a deportation order against them, it is no longer just a Muslim ban or just a purge of Hispanics. It is a series of acts intended to terrify Americans into submission. It is a series of acts intended to silence those who would object and turn them into human sheep. It is a series of acts intended to turn respect for authority into fear of authority. It is a series of acts intended to give the rank and file customs and ICE employees both the false sense that they are still doing something moral and an appetite for sadism and brutality on which authoritarianism feeds. It is in fact a series of acts of terrorism against the people of the United States of America. And Donald Trump, it is your doing, and in due time, you will atone. Resist. Peace.